Sante Mweshimua KJ, Your Excellency the President, Bishop Ken, na Kanisa Letu La Revival. Good morning. Good afternoon. Is it morning or afternoon now? Good morning. Tumsifu Yeso Christo. God is good. And all the time. Asante sana. Your Excellency Nimeshkuru ku andamana na wewe vile bishop ametusomea kwa Biblia ya kuwa ni wengi waliponywa lakini mmoja ndiye alirudi kusema asante. And we thank you excellency because when you came back recently from China ulisema unataka kwenda kanisa ambayo tunaweza pea Mwenyezi Mungu shukrani na ukamuuliza mheshimiwa KJ na KJ hakusita akasema mahali ulikuja 2019 kwa kanisa hili akamuuliza Bishop Ken aje atukaribishe na nishukuru Bishop Ken na mke wako kwa kutukaribisha kanisani and we thank you Pia Bishop umetusomea Psalms 124 na ukatusomea vizuri that wa the lord not with us when the people attacked us they would have swallowed us alive na unajua bishop nasikia mheshimiwa kasarani akisema napenda kujigamba nilisomea alliance so wakati uliatuambia ask your neighbor if he has ever been attacked and i was sitting next to the president having gone to alliance there is no way I'd have asked the president whether he has ever been attacked sababu nilijua nilijua he has been attacked and uh, singeweza kumuuliza nikamwambia i know they attacked you <laughs> na pia ukisoma that Psalms 124 bishop vile ulitusomea nilijiuliza Who are these who are attacking us? Sasa zingeuliza rais who attacked you. <laughs> Sababu nilijua walikuwa wanajiita deep state na system. And it is true bishop wakati umetukaribisha pale umekumbusha rais that when covid hit in 2020 March Mheshimiwa rais alianza kazi ya kuwasaidia watu especially around Nairobi and the environs ya kupeana chakula through makanisa na bishop unajua mheshimiwa KJ alitumwa mara mingi akaleta chakula hapa ya kusaidia watu na pia sisi wengine ambao tunakaribia eneo hili tukapata chakula lakini wale walikuwa na attack wakati waliona hiyo mchakato ya kupeana chakula kupitia makanisa na kumbuka bishop walikuja kikuyu wakatuwekea sumu kwa chakula wakaja hapa Dagoreti South wakaweka sumu kwa chakula so when we read that why it not for the lord being with us the floods would have engulfed us nilijua ya kweli kuna Mungu mbinguni that we were attacked and when their anger flared up and the floods were almost engulfing us the lord our god came hakutumana alikuja mwenyewe saved the people of dagoreti south when they were poisoned saved the people of kikuyu when they were poisoned and we are now here to praise the lord that through his name we also have a president who visited you here as a candidate who was under immense attack who people had organized to attack him they would have swallowed him alive lakini sababu ya mungu yuko hapa akiwa rais si hiyo ndio mwenyezi mungu na your excellency unajua shetani wewe pia sababu ni evangelist wetu huyu rais is not just a mentor to us as young leaders He also evangelizes to us. Na wakati mambo imetulemea, tunaona kama iko ngumu. 
huwa anatuambia nyinyi mumwamini Mwenyezi Mungu. Your Excellency, sasa leo sababu pia nilisomea Alliance, I want to encourage you. The same way I will not have asked you whether you have ever been attacked. I want to encourage you that to continue trusting in the Lord. Sababu, Your Excellency, if you think about it, when their anger flared against us and they poisoned our people, they could not succeed because the Lord our God was with you and was with the people of Kenya. When you won the election, Your Excellency, against all odds, we did not know how terribly beaten our economy was until you got into office, we were able to analyze the state of our economy, and it sank into our minds how downtrodden our economy had gone, that as people focused on attacking, as their anger flared up against us and against your excellence and against the people of Kenya, they forgot the core business of governing and maintaining our economy. Tukachukua uchumi ambao madeni yalikuwa ya mekokotana, hakukuwa na pesa, uchumi ambao tulikuwa na CBC education system, hatukujua watoto January wataenda CBC secondary schools ama kwa primary schools. Leo, Your Excellency, watoto wetu wako junior secondary school under CBC and moving on with their lives even among us the challenges that we had. Your Excellency, uchumi ambao ulikuwa umekaliwa na madeni, hatungeweza kusonga. Because of your belief in God and believing that the Lord God was ahead of us, Leo, as our brother Dindi Nyoro has said, you have been able to stabilize our economy. And Your Excellency, as a member of Kasarani has said, for the first time in our country, manifesto ya mtu akiingia kwa ofisi kuchaguliwa imekuwa sio kijitabu cha kufanya campaign you have implemented our manifesto and you continue to implement our manifesto vile tumeambiwa walimu for the first time close to 60000 teachers have been employed in one year under your administration your excellency madeni ambayo tulikuwa nayo your excellency Today, the controller of budget is reporting to us ya kuwa kila mwaka sasa pesa ambazo tunatumia kulipa madeni ni zaidi ya shilingi trillion moja. Na uchumi unaendelea. Uyo ndiyo mwenyezi mungu, Your Excellency. And I want to encourage you, Your Excellency, to remain focused. Na ni kuambie wale wa kuatak. Sababu wengi ukiona wengi wa kiatak ni shetani wako anacheza hapo katikati. Shetani hajalala your excellency. Bado ako kazini, lakini Mwenyezi Mungu ako kwenye kiti chake cha enzi na atatulinda na kulinda taifa letu. Ndio maana leo mheshimiwa rais juzi wakati wa siku ya mashujaa ulizindua mpango wa universal health coverage ambao umetuhepa vile bishop alituambia unakwepa lakini safari hii rais amesema haiwezi kutukwepa we now have actual universal health coverage ya kuwa hivi karibuni rais vile ulisema serikali yako itakuwa ni ya mama mboga na mtu wa boda boda leo hii chini ya mpango wa universal health coverage mtu wa boda boda akipata ajali mama mboga akipata ugonjwa ile inaitwa chronic ama critical illness kama seratani kansa ama kisukari diabetes ataweza kutibiwa kwa serikali kwa hospitali ya serikali bila malipo yoyote na mheshimiwa rais najua watu wengi wale nasikianga wakiuliza huyu rais alituambia hii serikali ni ya mama mboga ako wapi mama mboga kwa hii serikali Mama mboga ako kwa serikali kwa serikali kufanya juhudi na bidii kutumikia mama mboga ya kuwa akipata ugonjwa wa kansa hata kufa na shida familia zao hawatauza mashamba yao na kuwa maskini sababu ya magonjwa kuingia kwa jamii 
wataweza kwenda kwa hospitali watibiwe na hiyo gharama ya matibabu igaramiwe na NHIF ama National Social Insurance Fund or the Critical and Chronic Illnesses and Emergency Funds ya kuwa rais vijana wetu wa boda boda akipata emergency kama accident avunjike mguu hatauza pikipiki yake agaramie matibabu ataenda hospitali atibiwe na serikali yako imwambie aende nyumbani na imulipie gharama ya matibabu your excellency want to encourage you that that is a mark of leadership that this country had been yearning for and god appointed you to become our leader at this time with a purpose and knowing that you had the fortitude you had the energy and you had the vision to move our country forward and we want to confirm to your excellency and commit to continue to supporting your agenda and the manifesto that we together with you we sold to the people of Kenya kuhakikisha ya kuwa tumetekeleza yale yote ambayo tuliwaahidi wa Kenya wetu mheshimiwa rais kwa hivyo usiwe na wasiwasi ukisikia kelele mingi wewe funga masikio sema it is like they attacked me before sababu wengi hawataona mahali umelenga to stabilize a country in a situation where we were in a very bad state your excellency ya kuwa kesho na kesho kutwa hatutakuwa watu wa kulemewa na madeni hatutakuwa watu ambao nchi ambayo watu watategemea chakula ya msaada watu watakuwa waki produce chakula yao kupitia subsidized fertilizer na ile mipango ingine mheshimiwa rais ambayo umeweka we want to encourage your excellency continue focusing on the job don't listen to the naysayers ukiona wengine nimesikia your excellency wanasema hii mambo ya hospitali ya NS, NS, IF, NHIF itabadilika ikuwe National Social Insurance Fund and the other funds your excellency mesikia wengi they are only focusing on one item hata niliona wengine kwa tv wakisema the ruto taxes lakini hawaambi mama mboga na mtu wa boda boda na yule mwingine mwenye ni mama ama mzee indigents in our society wale hawajiwezi ya kuwa mama mboga mtu wa boda boda ambaye alikuwa analipa shilingi 500 kwa NHIF kupitia kutia sahihi ile bill ambayo sasa ni act of parliament huyo mama mboga huyo mtu wa boda boda ambaye ndiye mwenye serikali gharama yake ya NHIF imeshuka kutoka 500 atakuwa akilipa 300 as you promised your excellency during the campaign that the indigents in our society the downtrodden mwenye hataweza kulipa serikali itagaramia malipo yake ya NHIF na atakuwa covered akuwe na medical insurance cover your excellency as i said that is a whole of, whole mark of leadership and a mark of leadership that you are not focusing as kj said on what is popular today but what will make our country stronger and we encourage your excellency as we continue to pray with you and pray for you staki ni sema zaidi ya hayo mheshimiwa rais sababu leo ni wewe umetuongoza kuja kama wale wenye ukoma ama leprosy kumi ambao waliponywa ukatoaambia tukue huyo mmoja aliru, alirudi kwa nyumba ya bwana kusema asante with those many remarks may i have the distinct honor to now ask you to be upstanding to mkaribishe the fifth president of the republic of kenya his excellency the president karibu <laughs>